Oh right, balance, and Warframe, yeah, I know that when most people hear the word balance in this game it's sort of taken with a grain of salt and often considered a joke. We have weapons like the Tigress and Redeemer that can sort of just walk up to an enemy and delete his face. Then we have weapons like the Braddon, Lotto, and other assortment of weapons that could be considered noob weapons, or starter at that. Comparing these guns to the Optiker, Tigress, or Boar Prime is basically like comparing a lion to a chicken. Hint hint I'm getting at power creep. My proposal for balance in this game is give all weapons under 150 or 200 ish damage. A flat buff. Why you ask? Variety. You might say well we already have like 450 something weapons in the game, so why do we need more? Yeah we have loads of weapons in the game that could be classed as good. But we also have an overweighing number of badly classed weapons. I'm not going to sit here and list them one by one, because I'm sure when I said bad weapon, each of you instantly thought of a weapon that you thought to be bad. Personally I enjoy using these weaker weapons in lower level missions. Such as when helping new players through the star chart. I'll pull out my Glaxion and just freeze the world for fun. Or any other sub level 50 based mission. Now when I talk about a weapon being good. I don't mean make it to where you can just melt an enemy within half a second regardless of level. I mean being able to quickly kill enemies above level 80. Because at a certain point, the content will just keep getting higher in level. That brings me on to the point of frames. What's going on? And oh man. What the hell is going on with frames? We have ones like Saren and Mesa that are essentially handheld big titty nuke girls, that can bring destruction on the world. And then we have frames like Vob and that, ahem. We won't talk about this one, still needs a fucking rework though. But on a serious note, we need to make all the frames that do their job slightly more well balanced. You might be confused on what I mean by that. There's two types of things to consider in Warframe when thinking about frames. How you affect the enemy, and how the enemy affects you. If we want to go really deep into enemy affecting then we could break out the folder on Armor 2.0. But I'll spare you that hell since it's never coming. When I talk about a frame directly affecting enemies I point towards Saren, Mesa, Vauban, Limbo. Whether it be crowd controlling or nuking, it needs to have some sort of balance. What kind of balance though? Well for starters make damage for all frames affect a percentage of health and not just a flat damage number. I'm looking at you Ember. That way all frames that are classed as damage will be on a levelish playing field considering the odds. And for heaven's sake, if you're going to make CC based frames, at least make CC based mission types. We keep getting stuff like onslaught, survivals, defensive, and other various missions that you benefit massively from killing over freezing. This juggling between CC is king and damage is king is getting old. My last note about frames. You. Need. Kit. Synergy. What I mean by that is what Pablo the Tuniza. Before his rework he was good undoubtedly, but he was clunky to use, and when Pablo reworked him, he instantly became a synergetic frame, all the abilities flow into each other. We need to stop the press for to win, and start synergizing all the abilities to be useful in the kit. And onwards to our most important balance, time. That's right you heard it, time balancing. That's anything that takes up your time. Well yeah games take up your time, but what I mean by time is not playing time, it's waiting time. Crafting times, which is understandable since Warframe is a free to play game, I'll touch up on this in a bit. And standing cap. The standing cap system is fundamentally unbalanced in many ways. When you're deep into the game it takes you about 20 minutes to cap on standing for all factions daily and maybe do the sortie. That's it. It needs to either be doubled, or removed. Now I know that standing cap is an extremely hit or miss conversation. There is people that like to think it needs to be in the game because the game is free or to help us from progressing too fast, and people that think it shouldn't be in the game, because it's an unnecessary time gate. Well what do I think? I honestly believe both of them. I don't think we should remove the cap entirely because Digital Extremes makes profit off of more people playing daily, and at the end of the day, 
they're a company. That doesn't mean the system in place right now is okay. Ultimately what they should do is either double the standing cap, so 54,000 standing daily to max out, which would leave you about 3 days to fully max a syndicate, compared to the 5 or so days it takes. That's a full week dedicating to one syndicate. Secondly, remove shared standing for syndicates. The fact that I can only get 27,000 standing for a single syndicate, or branch it out into smaller bits to be able to try and level all of them up at once, which will take 3 or 4 times longer. We need to be able to have 27,000 for all syndicates daily. This would remove the painful monotonous process of having to swap syndicates back and forth when new things are added, forcing you to completely go to another 3 just to get a new gun cosmetic item or augment. And now back onto the topic of crafting times. You're just a kick in the knee. After farming a frame you need to wait 12 full hours for 3 separate parts to craft. Then you take those 3 parts and combine them into one, to craft an item that takes 72 hours to finish. 3 full real life days. That's incredibly. And I mean absolutely incredibly absurd amounts of time to craft a single item. I'm not saying crafting times needs to be completely gutted and removed. But what I think should be done is weapon crafting should be lowered to about 6 hours, for all weapons, cause some weapons take 24 hours, then lower the 3 frame parts. So neuroptics, chassis and system to 1 or 2 hours. Yep. You heard that right. You might ask why so low. Well, you'll be able to farm the parts that day, then craft and claim them within a few hours. As for crafting the full frame, it should be either 12 or 24 hours absolutely maximum. That's still a really long time for crafting. Quoted directly from Reaper Hunter himself. I may have 4000 hours on this game but I guarantee at least 700 of them was just waiting for shit to build. And that's insane. I really don't have anything else to say about these absurd systems set in place. I know this is a really controversial topic and 90% of my non-regular viewers didn't even make it halfway past the thumbnail without writing an angry comment about how wrong I am in every way. But what do you think about these systems? Do you approve of how they're done? That's all this crazy lady has for a rant. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments. Later you weebs.